Hello and welcome to the Quick Start Conversion Helpful Hints video tutorial for EasyLaw. The purpose of this video tutorial is to cover basic posting principles that will assist you in your data conversion. Understanding some of the features of EasyLaw will help to reduce posting time and will also help to ensure a more successful conversion. If you have not already done so, please watch the video tutorials for the Setup Wizard and the Quick Start menu. These tutorials are designed to get EasyLaw to function to the specific needs of your firm. If your clients, codes, and general ledgers are accurate, entering your opening balances will be easier. After you have entered your clients, codes, and general ledgers, I recommend that if you have not already done so, click Remind Me Later, followed by Never, and then OK on the Quick Start menu. This will remove the Quick Start menu as a default background for EasyLaw and display the Daily Activities menu which will be used to enter your opening balances. At any time you can access the Help, Support Center, and Knowledge Base to assist you when using EasyLaw. A Need Assistance option will also take you to the Help for the specific menu you are running. Technical support and training are also available by contacting ESI Software. Contact information is available at easylaw.com. The majority of the posting programs also have some common features that will help in navigation and data entry. Use Enter, Tab, or the mouse to navigate through fields. Press F5 to display a list of clients, general ledger accounts, or codes. These lists normally display in alphabetic order, but clicking on the bold headers will allow you to change the sort option within these lists. Quick Fill Codes is an option that lets users automatically insert frequently used text in transaction description. Quick Fill Codes can be entered in the posting menus or under the list menu. Simply enter a Quick Fill Code followed by the space bar in the description box and text will automatically display. Pressing enter in the date field will default to the current date of your computer. If you have to enter a specific date, you normally only have to enter the month and date as the year will display automatically based on the year of your computer. Dates entered 30 days within the current date of your computer will display a warning message. Dates entered outside of the current month or current year of EasyLaw will also display a warning message. You can enter transactions in a prior year, but a password is required. And this can be entered in the System Settings menu. You can also only post to one month at a time as EasyLaw is date sensitive. Using one date on transactions for your data conversion will save time and will also indicate that the transactions have been brought forward from your previous accounting system. The majority of the posting menus have a save and a post option. Transactions can be saved, edited, and deleted before being posted to EasyLaw. Previous posted transactions can be reversed. Often, you can save transactions and then return to a posting menu to post them later. It is very important that you read pop-up messages as they appear on the screen, as this will assist you in navigating through the program. You can have one more menu open in EasyLaw at one, at one time. Using one date on transactions for your data conversion will save time and will also indicate that the transactions have been brought forward from your previous accounting system. The majority of the posting menus have a save and a post option. Transactions can be saved, edited, and deleted before being posted to EasyLaw. Previously posted transactions can be reversed and in the case of work in progress, edited. Often you can save transactions and then return to a posting menu to post them later. You can also have more than one menu open in EasyLaw at any given time. The multitasking window will display in the bottom left of the screen 
all other windows that are currently open so you can actually flip between menus at any time. If you wish to continue with the Quick Start setup of EasyLaw, please select the Quick Start Opening Balances Introduction Video Tutorial Next.